Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for the past nine days we have been praying, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and you shall renew the face of the earth. What we have been doing is to invite the Holy Spirit to come once again as the Holy Spirit did in the past. In inviting the Holy Spirit, we have been inviting God to redo what he did at the beginning. We read from the book of Genesis that the Spirit of the Lord was upon the earth. And it was through the Spirit that many things were created. It therefore makes sense that when creation is deformed, when we seek to renew creation, we call on the Spirit of God. Today's vigil, which is marked by many readings, and we just did a few of them, in a way helps us to understand the Feast of Pentecost. It says to us, how does God reach out to humanity? God reaches out to us in many ways. God reaches out to us in creation. God reaches out to us in his word. And God reaches out to us by sharing the spirit with us. In the first reading, people sought to get to God without God. And the end result of it all was confusion. Many languages. And therefore, people could not understand one another. And the project was a failure. Reminding us of what the psalmist says, he who builds without God builds in vain. In the second reading, we heard of God making a covenant with the Israelites through Moses. And we read of the manifestation of God, who through his spirit comes in thunder and lightning. And God ratifies the covenant with the people. In the second reading, St. Paul said to us, God gives us the Spirit so that the Spirit may teach us how to pray. It is the language of the Spirit to groan within us. It groans within us, it groans in creation. The Spirit leads us to the Father. The Spirit guides us in living as we are supposed to live. In the Gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ says, Let those who thirst come to me. And when Jesus speaks about those who thirst, he promises them that there shall be rivers flowing within them. He will quench their thirst. And this is the work of the Spirit. And John is very quick to say he was saying this at that time, referring to the Spirit, because it had not yet been given to us. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in these days of the novena, we have been presenting our petitions to the Lord. One writer once said, be careful of that which you ask for, lest God grants it to you. What is it that we have been asking for? We have been asking for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We have been asking, as it were, for the Spirit himself. And we know that it is the work of the Spirit to set us in a, on a mission. It is the work of the Spirit to renew us. Hence, Pope John XXIII once prayed at the beginning of the Second Vatican Council, Renew thy wonders in this day, our Lord, as it were by a new Pentecost. His predecessor, Paul VI, once challenged the church and he said, All we need now is a new Pentecost. 
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have prayed for the new Pentecost. We now await the gifts that we promised to those who ask for them. And yet in praying for a new Pentecost, we are praying for something very dangerous. The Spirit is not a possession that we ask for ourselves. When the Spirit comes, it sets us out on a mission. When the Spirit comes, it works for unity. When the Spirit comes, it turns us to be like God. It teaches us the things of God. That hymn which we recited for nine days, Veni Creator Spiritus, tells us about the works of the Spirit. It tells us also what the Spirit is capable of doing in our lives. It is the Spirit that will help us to understand the Gospel and to live it fully. It is the Spirit that will teach us the things of God. And it is the Spirit that will take us out of ourselves so that we may reach out to God. The Spirit will strip us bare of those things that control us. It is the Spirit of freedom. It is the Spirit of God. And in doing the things of God, in embracing the Spirit, we take a great risk. We can no longer control the Spirit. Tomorrow we will hear of what the Spirit does to a community. The Spirit is not given to individuals. The Spirit is given to individuals so that they may use it within the community, so that they may build the body of Christ. The Spirit knows no boundaries. It blows wherever it wills. And so, as we pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit, let us be ready to be disturbed by the same Spirit. Today we present all the petitions that we have been bringing to the Lord, knowing that the Lord is generous and the Lord is never outdone in generosity. He will certainly give us what we asked for, but are we ready to be used by the Spirit? Amazadiwa mnamambo wedu yeso Christo, nasi uno tinomirira zo ataka bimbiswa mnamambo wedu yeso Christo. Kupiwa mwea mutweni, anova ndia anotibazira mubasa rukutewera Christo. No kuita zose zo akati zizisa mkati merupenyu uruwaki. Christo achiri pasipano aka zizisa zo akawanda, akati bimbisa kutizumwe zo acho kutizunzisise, tinoshaya kupiwa mwea mutweni. Ndiye mwea wekarewo, akasika zwino zose, ndiye mwea no mutsiriza zo akafu. Uye ndiye mwea anopa simba. Pa tinoberenga magwaro, anoyera, tinozibi iswa kuti mwea no piwa, vanu kutivaite basa mukiriki. Babate mabasa amuari mukiriki. Mazua afura watatina mata, Uya mwea mtuene, uya mwea msande. Tatichikoka mwea mtuene kuti auye ati zaze, amutsirize zwakafa matiri, ati nyaradze, ati batzire muku itabasara mwari, kutichiwe vana wanoko zera kunzi vana vamwari. Ama zadiwa mwea wekareo, njie ozwe kare, anuti batzira kutinzwe sise zwakadzama, zwatino fanira kuita seba tendere. Mwea hawi kuti azo tinyaraza, tu ango gara ainesu. Mwea ano uya kuzo tituma. Mwea ano uya kuzo sika zwenu pato. Mwea ano uya kuzo timutiriza. Nukudaro nasi uno titini peta ano vena yedu. Ngati kumbire imu ya mutu ene kuti atitunga miriri. Ati pe zwipo zwake. Ama zadiwa apana zunosha misa ni kupiwa zwipo zwamu ya mutu ene. Mwe baba wano pase madiro awo. Asika natapiwa zuipozo wa mwe ya mtuene. Zuinoti pesa nisa ni wa mwe vese wano gamchizwa zuipozo wa baba. Ndezo yekuti zuipo izo ozo zinobereka michero ya kanaka. Mpakati peru penyuruedu. Ya kafana na nerudo, nemuta, negugari sana ni wa mwe. Uye kuwa mwano wano batzira kuwaka mwiri wa kristu. Nukudaro ngatina mate yuguti mwari ngati shingisi. Pa atino gamchira chipo ichi. Tibe wanu wano ita. Zwa inotari siru wa kuitua neva kristo. Vana wa mwari. Numuna kristo mambo wedu. Amen.